Let me show you how to display a Facebook widget like this on your WordPress website for absolutely free. To get started on your WordPress dashboard on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new plugin. Next on the right hand side, we can search for a social post feed like this. And the one we're looking for is right here, Smash Balloon Social Post Feed. Go ahead and install it. And once installed, click activate. There we go, the plugin has now been installed and activated. To get started, click on launch the setup wizard. And here for step number one, we'll have to connect our Facebook account. Click on add new. Then on this page, click on connect to Facebook. This will take you to Facebook. And if you're already logged in, click on edit access. Here you should see all the Facebook pages, business accounts, and Instagram accounts connected to your Facebook page. Find the Facebook page you want to display inside your feed and make sure it's toggled on on the right hand side. After that, we can exit out of this and click on continue. Next, you should see all the Facebook pages you've connected with Smash Balloon inside this window here. Select the Facebook page you want to display inside your feed like this, then click on add. Now you should see that source added inside Smash Balloon, then click on next. And on step number two, you can customize additional configurations that come with the plugin. Over here, you can choose the language you want for the plugin. Next, you can also choose to install the free version of Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube feed plugins by Smash Balloon. If you'd like to try them out, you can leave this toggled on. And underneath that, you can also install the free version of the reviews feed plugin by Smash Balloon. If you want to test it out as well, make sure to leave this toggled on. After that, we can scroll down to the bottom and click on next. Over here, you can find additional plugins that you might be interested in for your website. We have all-in-one SEO, Monster Insights, and WP Forms. If you want to try these plugins out, make sure to leave them toggled on. Then we can click on install selected plugins. And there we go. It says we're all set up and we're good to go. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll find an exclusive offer to save 50% off on the pro version of the Facebook feed plugin by Smash Blue. If you want to check it out, you can click on upgrade over here. Otherwise, we can complete setup without upgrading below. And here we are now inside the plugin. And to get started with our Facebook feed, we can click on add new. And for the first step, we have to select the feed type. With the pro version of the plugin, you can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page. You can display your Facebook albums, events, and more. But with the free version of the plugin, you can only display your Facebook timeline. It's already selected for us, but we can click next. And earlier, we connected our Facebook account with the plugin. So we can see our page added as a source, and it's already selected for us, we can click next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our brand new Facebook feed inside the plugin. The feed is displaying the latest Facebook post from the Smash Balloon Facebook page. At the top of the feed, we have the profile picture, page name, the bio for the page, and the cover photo as well. Before I show you how to embed the feed inside WordPress, let me quickly show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, if you go into Feed Layout, inside this menu, you can find several customization options for your Facebook feed. At the top, we have the different layout options you can choose from. Currently, we have the list layout selected, which displays your Facebook posts in a single column list. Next, we have the main screen layout, which displays your Facebook posts in rows and columns. And lastly, we have the carousel layout. This one is only available with the pro version of the plugin. In this video, let's continue with the list layout. And if you scroll down, you can choose how many posts you want to display inside your Facebook feed. At the moment, we're displaying five posts. But if you want to customize that, just enter the number of posts you want to display. For example, if I go with two, you can see that our Facebook feed is now updated to only display two posts. I'm going to change that back to five. And if you're happy with the changes, click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to customize the color palette of your Facebook feed, under the Customize tab, click on Color Scheme. Inside this menu, you can customize the color palette of your Facebook feed. At the top, you can see that it's currently set to Inherit from Theme, which means that your Facebook feed will automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Next, we have a light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your Facebook feed, like so. And once you have a color palette you're happy with, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to customize the header at the top of your feed, go into the Customize tab and click on Header. Inside this menu, you can find two different header styles you can choose from, with the visual header and the text header. Currently, we have the visual header selected, and this one displays your Facebook cover photo, profile picture, and page name. And on the right-hand side, you can also see the total number of Facebook followers you have. Alternatively, you can go with the text header style, and this one displays a simple, customizable text header that you can modify down below over here. You can change this text to anything you'd like. For example, our latest posts. But for this video, let's continue with the visual header style. And if you've made any changes, click save on the top right corner. And now that you know how to customize your Facebook feed, let me quickly show you how we can embed it inside your WordPress web page. To embed it, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, then click on add. And here we are now on our WordPress web page. And to embed our Facebook feed, all you have to do is add a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use a dedicated Facebook feed block like this. With this option, and what you have to do next is open up this dropdown and select the Facebook feed you want to display. In our case, it's this one here, which is the one we've just created. Select it, and you'll instantly get a live preview of your Facebook feed inside the plugin. We can now click on save and check out what it looks like on the live website. 
And here we are now on our live WordPress webpage and right in the middle is our brand new Facebook feed that we just created. This one is featuring the latest Facebook post from the Smash Balloon Facebook page and it looks just like the one we customized inside the live preview. Each Facebook post displays the page name, when that post was published, profile picture, the caption for that post, and any images, links, or videos if they're included. Underneath the post, you can also find a button to view the post on Facebook or share the post. If you scroll down to the bottom of the feed, you'll also find a like box, this one here. The like box features a profile picture, total number of followers, page name, the cover photo as a background, and a button to follow the page if you haven't already. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a free Facebook widget like this for your WordPress website. If this looks good to you, let me tell you about Facebook Feed Pro. Just like the free version of the plugin, Facebook Feed Pro allows you to create fast and responsive Facebook feeds, but with a lot more features. When creating your feed, you have access to a lot more feed types, such as displaying your Facebook Feed albums, displaying your Facebook events, displaying reviews from your Facebook page, and more. And when creating your feed, you can also choose from a range of different layout options, including the carousel, which allows you to swipe through your Facebook posts like this. In addition to the extra design features, you can also add filters to your Facebook feed, allowing you to moderate it and choose the exact posts you display inside your feed. If you want to check it out, visit smashballoon.com. Alternatively, if you want to create a Facebook feed on your WordPress website for free, go try the social post feed plugin from your WordPress repository. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you experience any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.